coming to you from Jezero Crater on the surface of Mars. This is Mr. C. Happy Aloha, seventh and eighth graders. Hey, I'm combining you guys today because you've got each of you have your quiz. So, I, and I want to save you enough time for your quiz. Um, let's see. Can you? Can I get Zuri in here? Okay, I gotta pull. Zuri back over here. This is Zuri. I thought I had Zuri lined up properly. So let me get Zuri lined up, backed up. There we go. So, all right. I'll lower Zuri down. There we go. There's Zuri right there. Okay. So anyway, um, I wanted to do the divine, so that weird having him stare at me like this. Her, actually. At the Phoenix Zoo, there is a female uh, giraffe by the name of Zuri. And before COVID, we went to the Phoenix Zoo many, many times. And our highlight most times that we went was to feed the giraffes. Thumb up if you've done that at the Phoenix Zoo. Yeah, I see those thumbs. So anyway, it's awesome. And I love it. Well, giraffes are my favorite land animal. And you know what my favorite ocean animals. Anyway, I love giraffes for a whole lot of reasons. I think they're beautiful. Their markings um, are beautiful. They have disruptive coloring, which makes them hard to see from a distance because their their spots or blotches break up their body outline. Disruptive. It's called disruptive coloration. Not an accident. All of this given by God their DNA that gives them all these characteristics. So. Anyway, Phoenix Zoo, we fed Zuri a number of times. <clears throat> and the stuffy Zuri had to be named Zuri, our favorite giraffe at the Phoenix Zoo. Anyway, some of their outstanding design features, you already know what they are. Because they're so tall, they can feed on food that other animals can't get to. They're the, obviously, they're the largest land animal, tallest land animal. Males can be 18 feet tall. It's almost two floors height-wise, females 14 feet. Baby giraffes are born six feet tall. Unbelievable. Anyway, a number of really cool features. They have special eyelashes for protecting their eyes. Their eyes, eyes, their eyes are designed to see a long way. So, and they have such high blood pressure to pump blood up to their brain, which is like 10 feet away from their heart, that we don't know why their, ours, why their eyes aren't damaged. We don't know. So it's, a, it's totally a God thing. If we had, they have twice the blood pressure that we have. That's not an accident. Their blood vessels are really strong and elastic, so they can aid in pumping blood from their 25 pound heart, way, way, way bigger than ours, all the way up their neck to their brain. So they, and they have special valves so the blood doesn't go up too fast or down too fast, which is uh, amazing. So they don't have to drink that much. They get water from the food they eat. They eat vegetation, herbivores, right? So there's a lot of water in plants, plant leaves, up to 80% water. So they're, at, but they have a digestive system that can change um, digest um, the leaves they eat and get the water out of them. We can't do that. You know, we get a little bit of, it's called metabolic water from metabolism or what we eat. But they get a lot more metabolic water. So, big heart, blood vessels, amazing. Amazing coloring. They're like watchtowers because they're so tall. They can see um, in predators coming in on them. They hardly ever sleep. They can get away with a few minutes sleep a day. And they've got to stay awake in a way. So to ward off predators, protect them from predators. Not an accident. These knots they have on top of their head are thick skin and a protection for their head, their skull. So anyway, just amazing design features. The giraffe. So they rarely lay down, but I'm going to let Zuri lay down and take catch a little cat nap like they do sometimes. But they usually they can sleep standing up. 
so they they don't usually lay down at all so anyway I am a massive fan of giraffes now on Monday I hope to show you a short video on giraffes I don't have time today that's very cool and it'll talk about all of this but then they'll say it evolved they talk about all the design features and go it's it's evolution are you serious that makes no sense it, it just not logical they can't wait around to develop all of these qualities over a long period of time it's just not possible okay I've got to hurry on so SSRs are due today right so you want to make sure you turn them in if you didn't turn them in if you didn't turn them in today and you hadn't turned them in yet get them in Monday so you'll get at least 75 percent so C plus it, or C it beats uh, nothing so anyway I have a uh, <coughs> I watched a TED talk on creativity day that my daughter Laura told me about and she talked to you some about creativity now I want to explain something to you every human who's ever born is creative God designs us to be creative he designs our brain to be creative and we can develop we can improve our creativity through all kinds of things and she talked about a number of those things so but everyone is creative now I want to tell you a, a story that I heard from this TED talk today that's kind of sad in a way and I hope none of you ever do something like this okay so actual story the TED talk speaker said that he had had a fellow classmate third grade fourth grade I don't remember and he said this student was given a chunk of clay, a ball of clay, by the teacher. Took it home, molded it, and uh, made a horse out of it. So, and came to school all excited about the horse he had made. And he informed the eventual TED Talk speaker about the horse. And then another fellow student said to the creator of the clay horse said that looks horrible that doesn't look like a horse and then the TED talk speaker said immediately the student who had made the clay horse wadded up the ball of clay that he thought looked like a horse wadded it up into a ball gave it back to the teacher and he said I never saw that student again try to create anything that doesn't mean they didn't so but that what a sad story so here's the point was that student who made the clay horse creative yes and with a lot of practice could he have become better so here's the point since everyone around you every human around you is creative anytime someone gets vulnerable enough to show you a creation that they made what should we do how should we respond? We should be positive. Hey, nice job on the horse, and keep working at that creativity. It's coming. I mean, something positive. It's what God wants us to do. It's what Jesus would do. And if you're a believer, we're supposed to be little Jesuses, in a way, as we let his spirit control us. And one of our jobs is to be kind to others, build up others, and to say positive things to others. So anyway, if anyone ever reveals a creative work to you, first of all, they let down their vulnerability. It's, it's scary to um, attempt something creative and then show it to other people, especially in the early stages of developing that area of creativity. So again, what are you going to do? when someone reveals some creative work to you. I am praying right now, Lord, help me to build people up when they show something creative that they produce. Even if it isn't that great to start with, it's going to be, it's going to get better. So nice job on that. And the idea is, was it a good attempt? I'm not lying. It was a good, good attempt. I'm not going to say good attempt. Nice job on that creative work and keep developing that creativity way to go you know good on you so that's what 
Jesus wants you to do. Yeah? And what he wants me to do. So anyway, um, more on creativity um, next week probably. Hey, we don't have time to go over our study guides. So on Monday or Tuesday, you'll get study guide number two, and then later in the week, uh, perhaps Wednesday or Thursday, number three. Okay, they're tests with the corrected answers on them, with the answers on the test. So it'll be quicker going through them than on these study guides. It'll be, it'll go more quickly. Okay, so optionally over the weekend, um, you know, if you wanted to for 10, 15 minutes, you know, practice short bursts, breaks, right? So you might want to go over the study guide a little bit. No way, Mr. C. No way. Not on the weekend. That's fine. So it's fine. But I'm just saying if you wanted to. So not a long time, but a little bit. Um, don't know if there'll be any time at the end of the quiz. So when the quiz is over, Mr. Phillip will correct it. Make sure you put your name date period in the upper right-hand corner. NDP, name date period, upper right-hand corner. And then, um, I don't know, he'll know if there's any time to work on the science activities, which are due next Wednesday. And um, for you eighth graders, the microscope activities. Okay. So anyway, if there's enough time, I've got a little video, a minute and a half, on Millennium Force roller coaster in Ohio. So I'll take you out to Ohio if you have time and ride the Millennium Force out there in Ohio, if there's time, if everybody finishes in time. So anyway, I'm going to turn it over um, to Mr. Phillip to administer the quiz. Do your best. Read carefully. Look what I'm asking, Mr. Phillip.